Bardstown, Kentucky has been called the most beautiful small town in America. A killer still walks free tonight. But one ugly and horrific night changed this town forever. Things like this don't happen here. Uh, it's a, a shocking crime. Kentucky State Police say the brutal killings show signs of a personal attack. There is a very dangerous person or persons out there who have killed two innocent people in a horrible fashion. Why would someone brutally murder a mother and her daughter? I would do anything to have my family back. Holly Netherland's mother, Kathy, was a beloved wife, but her pride and joy were her two daughters, Holly and her younger sister, Samantha. She was a hard-working, hard-willed, loving person. Kind and caring, sweet. She was an amazing, amazing mother. I was lucky to have her. She gave the world everything she had and didn't ask for anything in return. Samantha was passionate about school. She was an exceptionally good student. She also loved animals. She volunteered many, many weekends at her local humane society. Tragedy struck the family when Kathy's husband died after a brave battle with cancer. I remember standing in the hospital room with her, holding her hand, and just thinking how heartbroken I was that she had lost her husband and best friend. Less than a year later, Kathy, now a single mother, was raising her two girls while working as a special education teacher. Holly was away at college, and her little sister, Samantha, was so excited to be going to her first high school prom. I remember her sending me pictures of dresses going, Holly, help me. Should I go blue? Should I go pink? Should I go purple? And she was babbling on and on about her dress, how she couldn't wait to wear it. Kathy took Samantha shopping and she found her prom dress. It was a very beautiful blue dress. They both were tickled that they had found what Samantha wanted. A few days later, Holly got a scary wake up call from her aunt. I got a call from my aunt Stephanie saying, hey Holly, don't want to worry you, but we can't find your mom and sister. Nobody can get a hold of them. Holly's family drove over to Kathy's house. They slowly opened the front door. Inside, horror and heartbreak. Holly will never forget the heart-wrenching phone call from her Aunt Stacy. My Aunt Stacy's bawling on the phone saying, Holly, your grandfather just went in the house. He thinks they're dead. To tell her that her mother and sister are gone, after she's lost her father just eight months before and that she now is an orphan. There's just no way to describe what, how, how horrible that was. And I remember immediately falling off my bed in the dorm, screaming and yelling and crying, God, you can't have them, you took my father, you can't have them too. When I first arrived on the scene, it was uh, obviously still chaotic, the scene was still being secured, uh, we were still trying to figure out exactly what was going on. Kentucky State Police had never encountered a grisly double homicide like this in Bardstown. Shocking news reports detailed the horrific way Kathy and Samantha were viciously murdered. Death certificates obtained by Wave 3 News reveal that Kathy Netherland was shot several times. Her 16-year-old daughter Samantha beaten multiple times in the head. Their attacker also cut their necks. I think my, my greatest fear in all of this was has always been did Kathy have to see Samantha die? And I pray and I hope that Kathy didn't have to witness that as a mother. I can't imagine the horror that Kathy would have experienced of knowing what was happening to her child and not have been able to protect her from that. There was an outpouring of love and sympathy at Kathy and Samantha's funeral. That day was supposed to be one of the happiest of Samantha's young life, her first prom. Instead of dancing the night away in a beautiful new dress, Samantha was buried in it. We buried Samantha in her prom dress. It seemed fitting that she should get to wear her pretty dress at least once. We had the caskets open for the family and the hardest thing I've ever done is to is to look at them in their caskets. It was hard to see Samantha because 
it was it was very clear that that something horrible had been done to her and she didn't look like the same girl that you know we had looked at just a week before in her prom dress. The police were baffled as to why these two people, Kathy, a compassionate and dedicated teacher, and Samantha, a friendly and bubbly young girl, were killed without mercy and for no apparent reason. That's one of the, the problems that we've had with the case is to uh, have a motive or have a reason uh, would be something that I feel like would help us in it, but uh, to this point, uh, we can't really pin that down. As far as we know, there was nothing missing from the house. Their phones, electronics, Kathy's purse, Kathy's wallet, Kathy's keys, Kathy's car, all of that was left untouched. With no solid leads in the case, Holly Netherland mustered up all the courage she could to ask for help. If you know something, I'm begging you to please come forward. Please give us closure. The only clue police have shared with the public is that a mysterious car was seen driving away from the Netherland household. We're looking for a newer model black Chevy Impala that was seen in the vicinity of the Netherlands home on April 21st, 2014 around 7.50 p.m. In the surveillance video that we did release, you see the vehicle traveling on US 150 back in toward the city of Bardstown. Uh, it is from a uh, gas station in the area. You can't make out how many people were inside the vehicle, uh, just the make and model. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack when you're looking for a black Chevy Impala with uh, the model year 2006 to 2013, because I think anybody that travels very often can say that they see uh, several of those a day. These murders have shaken this idyllic small town. The people here desperately want to find the killer or killers. I think there's somebody out there that, that has information that if they could uh, bring forward and share with us, I would ask them to search deep in their soul and deep in their conscience and uh, look at a picture of Samantha Netherland and the bright future that she had in, in front of her and give us the information we need to be able to close this case. And now, in this call for action, Crime Watch Daily is asking for your help to get answers for Holly. Why? That is the number one question I have had since day one, is why? Why would somebody want to hurt Samantha? Why would somebody want to hurt my mom? What would possess you to do this? That's all I've ever wanted to know was why. And in their search for an answer to that question, Kentucky State Police tell us they've received hundreds of tips on this case, but still nothing solid enough to make an arrest. They are now hoping a $50,000 reward will help bring in that critical information they need to solve this case. You can submit a tip anonymously at our website, crimewatchdaily.com, or also on our toll-free tip line, that number, 1-844-800-CRIME.